like I'm sure you know, like after you write something, like and you just, you're so over it and you hear it, it just like makes you cringe sometimes. Well, your ears your old are stuff. like I've heard the same thing. Not only do your ears get tired as a producer working yeah. in the doll, you know it's going to sound different when you wake up in the morning and you listen to <laughs> yeah. a distorted yeah. Reese than when you listen to it at 9 p.m. at night and you're listening yeah. to the same fucking Reese. I, I've done remixes before that with those, I'm always super picky because you're submitting it. The original artist is listening to it. It's all mm-hmm. of that stuff. And I will just fucking hate it. The mix down, the highs are too high. The mids are too high X, Y, and Z. And then I go listen to it six months later and my head just goes, why did you ever hate this? Yeah, like, yeah, why? Yeah. like this is not yeah. even an issue right now. Yeah. Um, so, and it's just a, it's a mind fuck. Sure. That's true. Yeah, I think it's important to take your time with art. Like to be able to like make the right decisions when it comes to music production, you have to put yourself in in like like a different set of shoes or like a different perspective. Um and that's really hard to do, you know? Um yeah, I mean like I, as a producer, like you're, you're definitely a worst critic if you care about what you do. Yes. That is. Um, I think the best people are. You're always going to think you're not doing enough. You're yeah. always going to think it's not good enough. Yeah. Well, this is a sign that you're growing or you're, you're you're actively learning. I mean, there. I mean, there's there's the other end of it though is that if you're too critical of yourself, you're never going to put anything out, which is my problem for the longest time. Yeah, but well, you still have a crazy output now of music i would say i mean you're you're releasing mm-hmm. what like every one to two months i'm trying i'm trying to do uh every month yep w- at least once a month i'm sitting on a ton of tunes and i'm working on it right now awesome. um but um yeah I, i'm trying to keep up with the tempo and it's honestly i think any more than once a month i think you're just like overdoing it yeah. yeah, you're over. I mean, it's just not healthy for you either. Even once a month is like, that's it's, still it's hard. I'm yeah. considering to properly release a song, whether it's on a label in which you could be waiting now upwards to a year to release. Yeah. Or you're doing it on your own and you're getting a distribution company or you're using DistroKid. You still have to do a release plan, submit it, you know, at least six weeks, four to six weeks in advance, yep. get the cover art, do do the blogs, do the support, do mm-hmm. all of that stuff. It's it's so much more than just, hey. Just dropping it. Yeah, than just dropping it and just being like, I wish it was like that because I feel like in the SoundCloud area, era, it yeah. was a lot easier to do something just and just be something. like, fuck it, I'm putting it up. Let's just ride it. Let's see it go. I, I think yeah. about Luke Lush. I think about the guys who make these huge reboots and bootlegs that just completely propelled their career. And it just unfortunately it's really hard to have like, I would say that one hit wonder, which you definitely like fell into that category of a single that completely put you on the board. Yeah. But then you have to follow up. It's not going to just make 